What is an abnormal heart rhythm or an arrhythmia? So to understand abnormal rhythms such as atrial fibrillation, it's important to understand what is an abnormal rhythm in general, because atrial fibrillation isn't the only one. And to understand that better, it's kind of necessary and important to understand what one's normal rhythm source is and how it's different from an abnormal rhythm source like atrial fibrillation. So remember, one's heart is controlled by electricity. One's heart is just kind of a dumb muscle and muscles only move when stimulated by electrical signals. So there has to be a source of electricity that is controlling the heart. We all have a normal source of electricity that we are born with that actually controls the heart. It's located in the roof of the heart and it's called the sinus node. This is a collection of specialized electrical cells that one is born with and the cells, their job is to be the source or battery that powers the heart. These cells actually create electricity and then they send those signals one at a time into the walls of the heart and whatever speed they send out electricity at, that's the speed the heart is going to pump at. And then, of course, one's brain does regulate this. One's brain actually talks to those little cells and tells them, depending on what one is doing, what speed to actually go at. That's why when one exercises, the heart rate speeds up. When one is resting or sleeping, the heart rate slows down because the brain is telling the little cells what to do and what speed to go at, and they respond appropriately. But if one develops an abnormal source of electricity in the heart, this is a cluster of specialized electrical cells that's not supposed to be there. So we call it abnormal, and it can develop in any other walls of the heart. Atrial fibrillation specifically is in the left walls of the left upper chamber of the heart, but there are 15 different abnormal rhythms and they can develop in other walls of the heart. So if one develops an abnormal source of electricity in another wall of the heart, this is a problem because these abnormal cells, they're not exactly one's normal rhythm cells, but they're very similar and they can do similar things. They can also create electricity and control the heart, just like the normal source cells can, except the problem is that no one is controlling these cells. The brain does not control or talk to these abnormal cells. These cells have a mind of their own and can do whatever they want. So if one develops another source of electricity in another wall of the heart, think of it as these cells are sleeping. And when they're sleeping, one doesn't even know that they have an abnormal rhythm problem. If you do an EKG on somebody whose abnormal cells are sleeping, One's just going to see the normal cells creating electricity controlling the heart and everything seems fine because the cells are sleeping. They're not actually doing anything. The problem is that one day these abnormal cells can randomly wake up whenever they feel like it. It doesn't matter what one does. One doesn't necessarily wake these cells up with their actions. Sometimes these cells just wake up randomly on their own. And when they wake up, they start to create electricity trying to control the heart. The problem is that Nobody is controlling these abnormal cells. The brain does not talk to these cells and tell them what to do. And so these cells just randomly start to send out electricity at some super fast speed, trying to tell the heart to speed up. And here's the problem. Now the heart has two sources of electricity fighting for control, trying to tell it to go at two different speeds. One's normal source is sending out electricity at the normal speed, trying to tell the heart to beat at a normal speed. The abnormal cells have woken up at a super fast, crazy speed, and they're trying to tell the heart to speed up for no good reason. And the heart is just a dumb muscle. It has to pump anytime it receives an electrical stimulus. The problem is it can't be at two different speeds. So who does it follow? The normal source that's telling it to go slower or the abnormal source that's telling it to go faster? Well, the rule of thumb when it comes to electricity in the heart, when there are two sources of electricity fighting for control of the heart at two different speeds, the faster source always overrides, overpowers, and drowns out the slower source and takes over control. It's as if two people were arguing. The louder person always overrides the softer person. It's fortunately the way it always works. So if you have two sources of electricity fighting for control, the faster source is going to take over. So that would be the abnormal source. It takes over control of the heart completely, drowns out the normal source, and now the heart is completely under the control of the abnormal rhythm source. Whatever speed the abnormal rhythm source tells the heart to go at, it's gonna speed up that speed, no questions asked. Now, if the heart rate's too fast, 
the person will feel the palpitations. If the heart rate's not that fast, the person may or may not feel palpitations. It's possible to be in an abnormal heart rhythm and not know that one is in an abnormal heart rhythm. If the normal rhythm source is telling one's heart to go at a normal speed of 60 or 70 beats per minute, and suddenly an abnormal rhythm source wakes up and tells the heart to go at 70 or 80 beats per minute, just slightly faster, one's not gonna feel that, it's just not that fast. See, people can't tell exactly where the electricity is coming from that's controlling their heart. They can just tell if their heart rate seems too fast or not. But it is possible to be under the control of an abnormal heart rhythm and the person doesn't feel it. That's why the EKG, which measures the electricity and where it's coming from in the heart, interpreted by a competent cardiac electrophysiologist or cardiologist, will always tell us which part of the heart the abnormal rhythm is coming from and which specific rhythm out of the 15 the patient is suffering from. But the person or patient themselves may not always be able to tell the difference. Then if one is under the control of an abnormal heart rhythm and their heart's racing, what could they do about it? Well, just as randomly as these cells wake up, they can randomly go back to sleep. Sometimes if one waits long enough, the cells get tired of being awake, they just go back to sleep. And when they're asleep, now the normal rhythm source just takes back over control. And now the normal rhythm source is back in control, telling the heart to go at a normal speed, and the person feels their heart rate is normal, they feel everything's fine. But the key point is, the abnormal cells aren't gone, they just went back to sleep and they're still in the walls of the heart and they can still wake up again in the future and take back over control of the heart and make the heart go fast again. So it's not a matter of, oh, the abnormal rhythm is gone. The cells didn't just magically leave the heart. They didn't grow legs and just walk away. They are still in the walls of the heart. It's just whether they are awake or not. So more pertinent questions would be, when is the abnormal rhythm going to wake up again? How fast might it make the heart go at when it goes at that speed? And will the person have symptoms or not? These are more questions versus it's gone or it's not gone. So this is the concept of abnormal heart rhythms, taking over control of one's heart away from the normal rhythm source to make the person's heart speed up and have symptoms. For everything atrial fibrillation related, please feel free to go to my website, drscottlee.com, where you're gonna find more resources and also can follow me on social media.